Hello, Pierre. Very nice to meet you. Katan from Hey You Guys. Um, now, you're, you're known for your action films. Would you describe The Gunman as an action film? I would describe it as, a, as more than an action film. It's, uh, I don't want to say it's a smart action film, but it definitely is an action film with uh, a deep enough and complex enough backstory that it's just more than action. As I always say, there's two ways to build an action movie. You actually make an action-driven movie with a bit of a story or a uh, plot-driven movie with some action in it. And that's what I like to do. You deal with some very serious political themes, especially at the start of the film. Um, how, why did you go about uh, introducing that element into your film? Because we wanted to, I mean, it's a discussion we had uh, with Sean, because the original book was a little bit like that already. It's, uh, and we tried to make it more contemporary. It's like, this is actually what is going on in the world today. I mean, we know that not only is the gap between the uh, developing countries and the, non, and the already like G, G20 now countries are, is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but uh, people don't know how much we are responsible for it in many ways. So yeah. it's, it's what drove the, uh, that political background of it. And did Sean have any input in that in terms of the way the plot was driven? We worked work together to, uh, to, to add some elements, definitely, yes. And so now, you, obviously, you've got Sean Penn as the leading man in this. We've not seen him do action much before. What was, uh, how did you go about getting him involved? Once again, because it's not just an action movie. I mean, Sean likes very complex characters. Sean likes very complex movies. And it's not, if it was just an action movie, he would not have done it. I mean, I think he'd love, he was intrigued in doing action, because he had never tried that before. But you should ask him about that. But uh, because it was more than just action, and because the, uh, I wouldn't say the message, but the backstory was so intense and so deep, it made him more uh, compelling for him to do it. And how did you go about fitting the other members of the cast? You've got a great cast lined up in this film. How did you go about fitting them all into the film? I don't know. It just it just came. It was actually a pretty, pretty quick uh, casting uh, process. I mean, we got Sean was first, and very quickly, right behind me, Javier, and then Idris, and then Ray, and then Mark. And it was, uh, it was a dream come true. Like, wow, we got all these fantastic people. And you filmed some of the film here, actually, in London. So um, can you tell us a bit about filming here? I love, I love shooting. I mean, I come in London very often. I mean, being based in, you know, in Europe, when I'm, I haven't gone to the States yet, so I'm still based here, so I'm in London very often. I love this city, so shooting in London was always a, a blessing to me. Uh, I love the crews, I love the, I wouldn't say I love the weather, although, but I love, I love the city anyway. I love the studios, I love everybody here, so it was fantastic shoot there. And it's, I mean, the, the movie industry worldwide now is, uh, is very similar in a way. So you get fantastic crews everywhere, and the way people work are more and more similar anyway. So uh, it feels like being home. And finally, you say it's uh, based on a book. Are there more books in the series, or would you be interested in doing more films? There are no other books in this series. No, it was a standalone. Uh, we'll see how this movie works, but uh, it definitely has space for a franchise. The hero is, uh, is open to that, I guess. Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations on the film. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!